In Six Sigma, one of our goals is to reduce variability, but how can we make sure that we actually have reduced it or with something really is a problem? Here you can see a box and whisker plot of 10 different batches, but the question is, are they really different or not? And normally you could use the, uh, the F test to handle two batches at a time, but clearly here we've got too many batches. And so here's all of our data. You can select that with your mouse. And then to actually analyze variability or variation in this case, we can use a test called Levine's test, which is built into the QI macros. It's not in Excel at all. And so what you want to do is just select all of those, and it'll go out and calculate a p-value, which in this case is 0 0.09. And so our, our null hypothesis is that all the variances are the same. And when you compare that to our 0.05 value, 0.09 is greater than that. So we have to accept the fact that, yes, indeed, our variances are all the same. And you can use this on normal and non-normal data. So that's the great thing about the Levine's test, is it doesn't matter if your data is normal or not normal. You can use this test to evaluate variability. And so. What that tells us here is, even though they look quite a bit different, from a statistical standpoint, the variability is the same. And so what we want to do is say, well, maybe that's good, and maybe we still need to make some improvements. All right, so that's how easy it is to create a Levine's test. And you can download a 30-day trial of the QI Macros from QIMacros.com.